I'm going to read some words from your Peace Corps mom, Becky, to you, Kung Song Pop. So, to be clear, I'll be reading in the first person, but these are not my words. These are Becky, Peace Corps mom, to Kung Song Pop. Kung Song Pop used to play the melodeon. I think, Kung, I think guitar is more to Kung Song Pop's liking these days. But it's the melodeon that is important to this story anyway. A little slower. Right. <laughs> Used to <laughs> refers to the early 1970s when I was Kung Song Pop's seventh and eighth grade English as a foreign language teacher in Peace Corps service. Thai 39, a very early group. I was the first native English speaker Kun Sum Pop's town had ever had there. A native English speaker can change everything for a host school as well as for other schools in the towns. Principals, teachers, and students alike have multitudes of opportunities to dramatically improve their English language skills and thus their own education. To set the school scene, uniforms were required. Shoes were left outside the classrooms. Hallways were open air walkways. Students swept the classrooms after school. We raised the flag every morning. The school provided my house on school grounds with a school building in front on the other side of the horseshoe driveway, a lovely mountain, caves, fields, and brooks in the back. You get the picture. My house was a delightful Grand Central Station. Students and the town's children came and went nearly at will to listen to me speak English, especially to my Thai dog, and later also to her puppies. Surely to see if I was a nice person to practice English, share food and activities, as ways to help us all learn the other's language and customs. We were talking about old times when Kung Sam Pop casually mentioned, in a ho-hum sort of way, that he had played the melodeon at lunchtime because he didn't have any money for lunch. <sighs> Instant dismay, then tears that I had not noticed his hunger or difficult circumstances. A rip in my heart that still hurts. How could I have been so oblivious for so long to this enterprising student who created a job for himself by bringing ice to me from the morning market before school? No complaints ever from this youngster who seemingly coasted through his school day. But he did not coast. When he says to DEP daughters and sons, staff and supporters that he knows he's been there and he can tell you from his youth, the stories from his youth. Before coming to the States, Kun Sam Pop had asked the USIA in Thailand to find me. He was coming here as an official guest of US government to speak with human rights groups around the country. Boston's Return Peace Corps Volunteer Newsletters had titled an article written about around what Kun Sompop had sent as looking for Becky. He said, so that I can tell her what I have done with my life. Apparently the USIA gal said she had been told to find Becky or find another job. <laughs> That's a delightful chuckle. She just wrote this this morning. <laughs> Kun Sumpop was, it would seem, already of some significant important, importance. Ashoka is a world-recognized Virginia-based organization that awards three-year fellowships to social entrepreneurs. Ashoka twice named Kun Sumpop a fellow to launch, grow, and expand his innovative idea. Be proactive in preventing human trafficking rather than trying to cure it. We know the results of his ideas as DEPDC, GMS, quite a mouthful, 
grown from just the daughter's education program. Proud of you. DEPDC GMS's 25th anniversary is still visible in the rearview mirror. Very rarely does any fellow receive two Ashoka fellowships. Kun Sampap in Ashoka's first biography, written in 1994. If people get a helping hand, maybe in the future, after 10 years, they will help other people. We know that this exact vision has and is in fact continuing to happen. And Ashoka founder Bill Drayton describes an Ashoka fellow for these for these rare men and women, an idea can bring satisfaction only when it is realized. Possessing the same unstoppable drive of a Steve Jobs, they define new issues and create new approaches. Their innovative innovation set new yardsticks of performance for society's larger bureaucracies. And again, a unit, there was United States recognition of Kun Sumpop's work in 2008 from Ann Arbor's University of Michigan. The Wallenberg Executive Committee selected Kun Sumpop to receive his 2008 Wallenberg Medal for Humanitarian Service. All recipients give a lecture, and this DEP supporter hopes that the text of Kun Sumpop's address can sometime become available on request. It is clear detailed and a powerful view of how he, DEP's founder, developed the concepts around which the center he founded still works today. Kun Pop's whole family was invited to the States and the university invited my son and I to be with him. From his address, some of what I remember, the following quotation, our work focuses on prevention, protection, return, and repatriation, not on victims. Here is an example of Kun Sompop's gentle way. We were all scurrying around from and to our hotel rooms just prior to leaving for the auditorium. Kun Sompop received a phone call from DEPDC, and he did not hesitate to answer. I'm still remembering the gentle kindness that he sent through the ethers. A young daughter wanted to run away. Kun Sompop's full focus changed instantly from the lengthy lecture he was about to give in a second language to the child on the other side of the world. The gist of the conversation, you can't run away now. I'm too far away. I'm way over in America, and that's a long, long way. But as soon as I get back, I'm going to find you and we will talk. He was sweet and caretaking. I feel sure that the daughter is alive and very well and making her own life choices in large part because of the kind moments she was giving at a confusing time in her life. And we all arrived at the auditorium in fine time. Kun Sampop is in the august company of these among many other Wallenberg Medal recipients. Archbishop, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, His Holiness Tenzin Gyatso, 14th Dalai Lama of Tibet, and Aung San Suu Kyi, to cite just a few. And in 2009, Sampop and DEPDC were honored in the US Congress for recognition, they were recognized for the success of and appreciation for the dangers faced by DEPDC GMS staff, Kun Sampap and his wife Kun Duzavi continue uh, that continue to accumulate the, the dangers that continue to accumulate. Extreme danger in especially the previous years came from Kun Sampap's own effectiveness of DEPDC, making a huge monetary dent in the regular profits of organized crime that habitually earned from trafficking. Representative Patrick Kennedy from Rhode Island rose to say on the floor of Congress, Madam Speaker, I rise today to acknowledge the extraordinary vision and compelling work for peace of Sampap Chandraka and his school, DEP DC. 
Sampal Chanchanka is not only a living example of passion and concern, but he also serves as an inspiration to the world. Rev. Kennedy's remarks were thus entered into the congressional record. And she ends the letter by saying, perhaps everyone will join in louding cheers or in Thai, Chayo. Chayo! Chayo. Chayo.